what is my biggest relationship slash dating deal breaker? For sure off the bat, I'd have to say anyone, any psychopath who owns something like a spider as a pet on purpose, there is absolutely no fucking space for anyone like that in my life. 27, 27 questions. questions. 27, 27 weeks. 27, 27 questions. What is my biggest relationship slash dating deal breaker? I would say um, a selfish personality. I think that's in every sense of the relationship world, every aspect of dating. If you're a selfish person, I'll probably be able to tell from the get-go. Why is the first thing that popped into my head Coldplay? <laughs> I fucking hate them. <laughs> oh, you like Coldplay? Oh, sorry. Gotta go. My biggest deal breaker is mansplaining. <laughs> Good one. Um... The biggest deal breaker would be a control freak because I don't like someone that's like, oh, you do what I say, when I say and how I say it. I mean, I don't want to say that I'm the kind of person who's not going to date you because you're a Gemini, but um, I'm probably not going to date you if you're a Gemini. I have to say it's a linear understanding of time and space for me. Like, I'm into that non-Euclidean shit, you know? That's what I need in a relationship. See, this is hard because I haven't dated in, like, a decade. I think the most obvious one is just racism. Like, if you start spouting any sort of, like, racism or sexism or homophobia or any of that shit, I just don't want anything to do with you. Hygiene. Uh, slash bad smell. Uh, dishonesty. I cannot stand. Lies. <laughs> oh, God. Um, look, I actually feel like my list is really small, but I, no one can meet it. So, like, I guess I have a lot of deal breakers, but, like, my list of things is, like, has a job, has a car, lives out of home. And I can tell you this much. It is very hard to find a man who has a job, who has a car and lives out of home. Honestly, like, just when you think you've found one, then they turn out to be a, a meth addict or something. And you're like, well, what? no more meth addicts. Like, can everyone stop doing meth? And that's... No meth addicts. That's my deal breaker. Someone who hurts others in the way of like physically and emotionally takes advantage of other people and that is not okay. That's not the type of person I would want to date. I think I've experienced this and again, I, this is, again, disability heavy one. So I guess it's sorry or not sorry, whatever. There's been times when I've been on dates and it's like I am pretty open about that. <laughs> Being in the chair and having a disability, all my photos of me in a chair. I've had to safeguard myself where it's like, don't get too into it too quickly because you could get burned by them turning around and going, well, this can't work because you can't get can't get into my uh, apartment or my house because there's stairs. And a, a negative outlook on life, like a sort of like a martyrdom or a victim sort of perspective. But I feel like when you get to a certain age, people shouldn't be sort of complaining about shit if, if if you can't do anything about it you can't do anything about it if you can do something about it just do something about it you know what i mean my biggest relationship deal breaker is basically anyone with a pretty jaded past whether that's you know violence or uh, some pretty serious criminal convictions or something like that i'm a pretty open and tolerant person um but yeah that for me would definitely be a deal breaker astrology is someone who doesn't have their own opinions or like a strong sense of identity. I want to get married and I want to have kids because I love I love that whole thought. So if I'm dating a girl and she's not maternal, if I'm dating a girl and like she's like, oh, babies or ooh, babies or pregnant, oh, fuck that. Or, you know, I can't stand them, they're annoying or they cry all the time or something to do with kids or babies. No matter how hot she was, no matter how into her I was, I would sack that. For sure off the bat, I'd have to say anyone, any psychopath who owns something like a spider as a pet on purpose, there is absolutely no fucking space for anyone like that in my life. Oh, my biggest deal breaker right off the top. If we in public just don't be embarrassing. Like if we go in public and you do some weird, like vain, like attention shit, like that's a deal breaker. I think it's how someone chooses to deal with anger and conflict. I think that's a single, like the single biggest deal breaker that I can think of in a relationship. I wouldn't actively date someone who wasn't Jewish. If someone was like converting or something like that, then I would definitely be more open to it. But I think for me personally, because my religion is such an active part of my life, it would be like me dating someone who has such a different value set than I do. Like I couldn't date someone who goes partying all the time because I like to stay home and watch TV in my bed. Uh, someone that's controlling, like if they're trying to control everything about your life or your, like your relationship and it has to be, you know, obviously you can meet somebody 
and you can get along them really well. And then like the more you date them or the more you spend time with them, if they all of a sudden like things that were okay at the start and now like not okay or they're like really, really controlling, like that's a pretty big deal breaker. I know this sounds a bit of a cop out, but like I kind of like when I meet someone I want to find the good bits of them. So I don't know if I even have a deal breaker. Um, I guess being a murderer. If I was to ever be in a relationship with someone and they were not an intersectional feminist, I think that would be a big deal breaker. I think the first thing I notice with someone is if they can't like text in plain English and it's like the worst possible thing to think is someone like everyone misspells stuff occasionally. I'm just like, nah, you're done. (laughs) Cancelled. Probably when considering dating someone, a big turn off would be if they smoke for me. Yeah, I don't know, just if they have a bad personality, if they don't think I'm funny, <laughs> they're all deal breakers. I think if you're getting into a relationship, it needs to be with somebody where you can respect each other and you listen to each other. Communication is really important, but also just that baseline respect. So I'm gonna say, if you are somebody that dates, make sure you're dating somebody that listens to you.